Fuel poverty affects over 300,000 people in Northern Ireland. This is nearly three times higher than levels in England and significantly higher than the rate in Scotland and Wales. With over 44% of the population affected, fuel poverty is fast becoming one of the less visible scourges of our society. To heat or to eat is now the stark choice faced by many local people this winter who are already spending more than 10% of their income on rising fuel and energy costs. The Assembly's Committee for Social Development was so concerned about this issue that it brought together a number of concerned groups from the private, voluntary and public sectors to examine options and innovative solutions to solve fuel poverty for good. And, and I would want to say that first of all the members of the committee and all the committee members are quite clearly very, very alive to this issue of uh, fuel poverty and indeed they are very anxious to take forward within our work programme um, some work on this uh, issue. For the first time in the history of the Northern Ireland Assembly, eight committees and relevant government departments will work together to look at all aspects of fuel poverty. We met with Alex Maskey, MLA, Chairperson of the Social Development Committee, to find out more. Well, we know that almost half of the uh, population here uh, really cannot afford to heat their homes. Constituents of my own, indeed constituents and friends and neighbours of probably all MLAs, uh, are finding it increasingly difficult to afford to heat their homes. Now, in any modern society, this has to be an absolute disgrace. So it's not acceptable in this day and age that people simply cannot afford to heat their homes. So what we as a committee want to do is to work with all of the other committees to try to tackle this problem and make fuel poverty a thing of the past. Because the first thing that we want to do is to try to share across all of the departments what is currently being done to tackle a scourge of fuel poverty. We are, of course, also determined to look for you know, viable solutions and options as to how we tackle the wider issues around fuel poverty. And I think, crucially, the stakeholders event gives us an opportunity to come up with solutions uh, which will help to make fuel poverty a thing of the past. This particular event is just the very first uh, attempt by ourselves to tackle this issue of fuel poverty. We know that while some measures can be taken in the very short term, clearly we do understand and we're under no illusions that there's no real quick fixes to this problem. So it has to be addressed in the here and the now, but also in the longer term. Based on our discussions, we will uh, produce a report. That report will set out exactly what has been done uh, across all the departments. And equally importantly, what other solutions have been proposed as a result of our discussions. We want to get the message out there that fuel poverty is a very serious issue and more importantly we want to get the message out there that we are determined to do something about it to make sure that we bring this scourge to an end. The Committee for Social Development's event on fuel poverty provided a crucial forum for stakeholders to discuss current issues and to share experience and knowledge. To say tonight we're going to take stock of exactly what has been done, we're going to put new perhaps and innovative ideas on the table and we're going to come away from tonight with a series of ideas and priorities that we want to see then dealt with uh, as we go forward. We caught up with some of the stakeholders to ask why they felt that this event was so important. Tonight's event is important because no one government department or one agency can solve the problem of field poverty in Northern Ireland. And I think tonight is very significant in that the committee have brought together a wide range of government departments and of stakeholders from the public, the private and the voluntary sector. The solution to fuel poverty or some of them are in this room tonight and that by working together we will hopefully have an action plan to address the problem of fuel poverty in Northern Ireland. It shows political leadership and, the, and political will at its best and I wish this initiative well and as AGNI we will support it completely. Today is about talking, we now need action to really uh, drive forward in terms of some task force to drive forward the actions that are required to really solve the problem that's real poverty in Northern Ireland. We welcome the social development initiative tonight. Fuel poverty kills about a thousand people every year in Northern Ireland. Clearly that's not acceptable. The Consumer Council wants our Northern Ireland executive to demonstrate the power of devolution and use the programme for government to address this problem head on in a coherent lateral strategy. We want to see a strategy with clear targets and outcomes and the necessary resources, energy and will to, to finally address this problem and this is what tonight's all about. Ending fuel poverty will take time. 
but this event is an important first step in tackling the problem. If you would like to find out more information on how you can make your home more energy efficient, there are many organisations out there that can provide you with help, advice and support. For more information on the work of the Committee for Social Development and for updates on their work on field poverty, please visit the Committee page on the Northern Ireland Assembly website.